workshop. We're all finished with the grizzly bear sculpture here and you can see that uh, since our last session there's been a huge transformation. Um, not just a grizzly bear anymore, uh, but also the hummingbird and the flower and, uh, and the rest of the body, uh, the arm, the leg, uh, even the tail and the back and filling in the belly here um, and the neck of the grizzly bear and obviously the hummingbird and the flower. Um, really fun dynamic between uh, the two animals here and um, uh, as always it speaks to what the Lord's been um, teaching me and instilling me in me during this season of creating the sculpture and just share that real quick with you. Um, the bear in its expression um, is one of rest and just relaxation and peace and being visually so large the emphasis is on rest. Um, however you've got that juxtaposed this hummingbird as we all know is just so busy and um, always and it's harvesting from the flower so it's just the sense of of doing and um, and together uh, what the Lord's been doing the expression that's coming through is he's given me the ability to have rest in him um, in the doing and not just circumstantial rest where it's you know finding that happy place or going off to some um, I don't know just environment that that's peaceful so that I can find that rest now in him I can find that rest and he's showing me that and give me that ability and so being able to have rest in the doing in this incredibly busy time in my life with uh, our new daughter and, and everything else in our life that's going on so that's a fun exciting um, thing to to experience and I'm very grateful for it and um, also we were talking about the last session about um, my creation process and the uh, three stages that I'm always considering throughout the entire process of creating which is the primary, secondary, and tertiary. Primary once again is just the overall form, the silhouette, the um, outline of it, stepping back in distance on a regular basis and, and kind of putting your uh, eyes, squinting your eyes and just kind of focusing on the overall weight and composition an outline of the piece and how it's reading. And then along with that, the secondary would be um, the basic individual forms, um, whether that be the arm, uh, the eye, the ear, the tail, the foot, the leg, whatever it is, the wing, um, the flower, just trying at all times um, not to take one element by itself um, and just focus in on that. But, but to take them all in together and to be able not just for um, proportion and scale but also just for placement and composition and, uh, and movement and, and, and things like that so um, that's very very helpful to always be thinking about and then the third being the tertiary which uh, speaks to the color um, speaks to the textures in here the, the direction of the grain for like the hair the tufts of hair in the neck, um, the eye, uh, you know, things like that, um, the flower, um, just the little striations and separations here for the wing, just to kind of, um, again, speak to the finer details, but those things have a place um, in the overall sculpture. So it's always important to be considering those during the creation process for me. Um, so those are some just insights and, into my process and um, I hope it's interesting and <laughs> possibly helpful for you um, as you're creating uh, in whatever you are creating um, and just exciting to share all this with you and I, uh, I look forward to the next project and uh, the next Waldron 3D workshop.